Hello everyone, Sharpeter43 once again bringing you all week 4 of the NGDL. In this battle we're going to face Quilliam23 and the St. Louis Fletchenders. Now this team, even though this team um, doesn't have an uber in his draft, um, they I, they still kind of threaten my draft to be honest. Just because this guy has a pretty fast mod in Raikou and has a, a pretty obnoxious mod in Aromatis. Which given how many mods are actually weak um, to fairy on my draft, can't put a lot like a number on my team. And on top of that, he also has Infernape. That's just a few of the monsters that, that um that I um that I'm particularly worried about. The rest you can see right here, so that um kind of get an idea of what I'm actually up against. And here's my team as well, so you guys can kind of get a glimpse of what I'm what I have. If you guys didn't realize what I had already, but anyways, with all that said, now let me just show you guys the team that I'm gonna use from the draft that I have. This is what I prepare. Uh, what I'm bringing for Quilliams this time around. Hopefully we do well as always. Last week we won, but it was a very narrow victory. And I have battled Quilliams in the past, and he actually has beaten me quite convincingly, actually. So I actually don't know how I'm gonna fare with him again right now. I want to say that his draft is not as busted as last season's, or at least the last season that I battled him. So I'm hoping that with what I have, I can actually get around it. But he actually still has solid answers to a lot of the things I have, actually. So it's only going to come down to once again how well we play against each other, which is personally not my favorite way of handling these battles because it, it becomes a, a, a major chess match, which is scary because anybody can lose. But let's see, who do we use for this guy? And, and let's just use this theme. I got nothing. I got nothing. Alright, two. Alright, two. So what do you got? Okay, he brought Slow King. I kind of wasn't expecting him to bring Slow King just because I have Marshadow. But he did bring Aromatisse and he did bring Garchomp. That is definitely not the Mega though because he has Mega Garchomp as well. But he's not going to use that because Mega Garchomp is actually not that great against my team. Unless he actually brings Sand, which I don't really see any of it potentially coming out right now he did bring scissor okay so what he did not bring was raikou which was one of the mods i was particularly afraid of so maybe he figured that it'd be scary for my team and he figured that i'd pre prep for it really really hard and instead he brought sarina which is actually a lot annoying because that can actually pivot Threatens my Mudsdale, which was kind of designated for the Raikou. And, uh, you know, can pivot. Oh, and can Rapid Spin, so it can get rid of hazards that I lay. Which I felt like was going to be useful, honestly. And he has Infernape, which hits several things on my team really, really hard. Especially this one. So with that said, we're going to see what we lead with here. There's a part of me that wants to lead with... Um, wants to lead with Braviary. Because I feel like his Sarina could come out, but if not his, if not his Sarina, maybe the Scizor. To which I actually don't have much for. But either way, I'm just gonna go with my loaded cheese, bro. Why doesn't this thing give me enough time to make my mind? The reason why I want to leave with my loaded is if he leads with Scizor, I can scald it first, or at least force him to hard switch rather than pivoting. Yeah, because the Scizor is kind of threatening, because that thing hits really, really hard, actually. So. I don't want him to get away with too much. Okay, but here we go. Gandy Chomp. Okay. This is kind of okay. I don't have Ice Beam on this Milotic though, but I'm kind of hoping I can scare it. And force him to switch into... What exactly? Oh, he also didn't bring Mill Tank, which is good for me. But let's see. He has... Scissor. Damn it, I put two scissors. It's Sarina. Okay. He could stay in and just go for a devastating Z move. But I'm gonna go for Skull because something is gonna get burned, I feel. Although, actually, the switching is, is sloking. There we go. I was wondering, what could he switch into? Nothing, really. But really, it's actually the sloking he can switch into. And if, he, if I get the burn on the sloking. That thing pretty much never dies now.
But he does know that my loader can't have toxic. But he's in, he's predicting the the scald. So damn, rip me. This this slow king could be a threat because it has regenerator. This did absolutely nothing. Okay, I don't get the burn on this, which is good with me, honestly. However, unfortunately, I don't have toxic on this thing. Yeah, I don't have Toxic on this thing, which is kind of bad because, um, you know, I don't have Toxic, obviously. Okay, so, and this thing doesn't hit this thing whatsoever. This is interesting. This might seem kind of odd, but I actually have to send in Marshadow just like that because... Yeah, this Registeel can't touch it. Mudsdale can only Toxic it, but it'll have to take a hit in return. And Mudsdale kind of answers a good chunk of this team, honestly. Can take hits very, very well. <sighs> you know what? I'll just switch in Braviary. Hopefully it doesn't go for Ice Beam or Thunderbolt or something crazy. I'm going to Braviary and then I'm going to U-Turn. And going to probably Mudsdale. Oh shit! He had Grass Knot. Imagine if I switched in Mudsdale. He would have taken that thing to the next level. Holy shit. Okay. So here, I'm going to U-turn, I think. Because it'll get some damage. And it'll also tell me if this is Rocky Helmet or not. But looking at how well it took that... Okay, he's going to switch out. Regenerator. He's going to go back into Ganji Chomp. And actually... Hmm... He's gonna try to, you know... How bulky is this thing? Okay, this is a bulky Garchomp, actually. Which... Mm, let's see... Hmm... This is actually kind of annoying because... Only thing that can do anything to this is the Gardevoir. Gardevoir can actually, yeah. I would Trick Room right here. This would be the ideal time to Trick Room, but unfortunately I can't do that because I can't. So I'm gonna just go for Moonblast just to get some damage on some things here. In fact, the only thing that can take this very well is a Sloking if it's actually the of the Assault Vest variety or even Spadef variety. Yeah, he's gonna go into this, which means this is the only thing that can take hits, but it's not a bad wall actually because of the... What I need is to toxic this actually. Yeah, th this needs to be toxic honestly, because otherwise it just stays here forever. This is Assault Vest, so... It loses nothing scalding me, and that's the big problem I have with this thing right now. Although, I don't know if this thing even has, um, hold on. Let me Moonblast again, just to see what he wants to do after this. Just get the damage. Just force him to switch out so that he has to restore his thing of power with Regenerator. Oh, he's gonna Future Sight, which isn't actually a bad play because I think Future Sight hits everything on my team without Sharpedo, actually. Although I do resist with, um, with, um, I do resist with Gardevoir. But the problem is that now that he sees that I'm just going for nothing but Moonblast, he can see that I'll go for another one and he'll just switch into Scizor. And that Scizor is what I'm particularly concerned about, actually. Hmm. Already still resist it too. But the thing is that. Do I want to just switch in my Lotic here? It's because this my Lotic can't. I should have left Toxic on this my Lotic. Yeah, because this thing is going to give me problems actually. Yeah, this thing is going to give me problems actually. He's gonna switch in the scissor, I think. 
Red October. Yeah, that's the scissor. But this is the problem. I don't have rocks on this thing. I also want to believe... Oh, actually, hold on. Let me try to get my rocks up so I can force his Sarina to come in. Because the problem is that if there's no rocks and that um, that Slowking isn't poisoned, it's not going to really... We're just going to be here like forever, honestly. He's going to U-turn, okay. Had I went for Scald, this thing would have probably not only taken damage, but also gotten burned, potentially. But I just didn't want to give him that freaking... You know... I didn't want him to give... Ugh, I didn't want him to just simply hard switch into slow king and hit me with a future sight. Garchomp is definitely the the, the the play here actually. Yeah, Garchomp is definitely the play here. He knows I'm Rocky Element now, so all he needs to do really is just go for the I wanna believe I can take an earthquake from the Garchomp. And then I can get my rocks up. Because one of my biggest problems right now with this Garchomp is that it's not giving me an open space to actually just go for the the stealth rocks. Or it's not letting me, um, the way he's playing is not letting me get my switch into Marshadow, which can hit a lot of his things and really, really hard. Okay, he has this thing. Okay, I resist that, which is fine. Okay, but here's where the problem starts. This thing can also have U-turn. I can switch in my Lodic. There's also a good... Qu he could U-turn, and if he does, I could send in Mudsdale. He'll send in Slow King, and then I can Toxic there. But the question is, will he go for... Will he go for the the U-Turner, will he just stay in and go for close combat? Because this Mudsdale is not leftovers. And it's only good if the, the, the Slow King is gone. But, but if he U-turns, he could also go into Sarina. I just forgot about that. Okay, this is kind of rough. And I really, really, really want to get my rocks up. But I feel like if he goes into Sarina, he'll just rapid spin them. No. Man, this guy has me in a real tight situation. Okay. This could be annoying. He, let me just see if all these mons that I'm afraid of them having U-turn have U-turn. Yeah, I hate close combat. Okay, good thing I didn't stay in. I, I really wanted to stay in. But that did way too much damage. That is so choice banded. That is so choice banded. That has to be choice banded, honestly. Okay, this this has to be Choice Bandit, honestly. I'm gonna try to switch into this. If it's not Choice Bandit, I'm just astonished that it did this much because this Milotic is actually max defensive. Yeah, this is... This is max defense... Or this is Bandit. It has to be. Because I think if it was not Bandit, he wouldn't have done this much. If it was Scarf, he would have done that much. And he goes into fucking this. But I already know it's not uh, it's not scarf, so I don't have to worry about it being that big of a deal. He'll get rocks up actually. Rocky Helmet, Rough Skin, Life Orb. This also is going to wither me the hell down.
And if I send in, if I go for Gardevoir, he'll just go back into Scizor. This is Bulk Charm too, so it's like, I can't do anything to this thing. <sighs> this is a tough call. I actually don't know what I want to go for. I don't know if I want to stay in, because it might take this very, very well, given that it's a bulk chomp. And then he can, and if he doesn't go for rocks, like I think he will here. You know what? I'll just go into Gardevoir. Even if he goes into Scissor, we'll just go for Moonblast, just to get some damage on his Mons, because his Scissor still hasn't taken any damage. Hopefully, he doesn't go for Earthquake though. Oh, he's gonna double into what? Scissor? Stank. Oh, this. Oh, this thing could be annoying, actually. Because this thing could wish pass. Spadef can be really, really good, actually. What I need is to get rid of one of these damn mons. Because right now, what it's looking like is that I can't get anything going right now. The question is, do I send in Mudsdale right here? But what I also want is just to... I want to get my rocks up. That's the thing. I want to get my rocks up because he keeps sending out that damn Garchomp, then that damn Scissor, then that damn Slowking. And nothing, no progress is being made here. Oh, he's gonna switch out into what though? Empress, okay. Actually, this is still not good. What the hell am I kidding? This ain't good, obviously. What I am gonna do though is just get my rocks up though because I really, really want these rocks. I want him to send in that Sarina now, honestly. Okay, he's gonna switch out and go into Garchomp, isn't he? Becky Lynch. Okay. But if he's gonna do that, we could Ice Punch. Or he could U-turn. But if he U-turns, he gets punished. Hmm. How do we play around this guy? We could Ice Punch, but I'll have to take a high jump kick in the return. I could also go for Earthquake, predicting him to want to send in the... The... How do I put it? It's because true be told. You know what? I don't know what set his scissor is either. He could go for high jump kick, but I, but I switch into Marshadow. Do I dare go for the earthquake here? This is actually tough. We'll try to go for Ice Punch. Rapid Spin. Crit. Crit, Rapid Spin. Does Rapid Spin have a high crit ratio? This is like the goodness knows what time I've seen Rapid Spin crit. Okay, that Ice Punch did absolutely nothing. What did he go for? Rapid Spin? Should I... He could U-turn now though. 
I'm gonna try to send in Brayer because I feel like if I go for the Stealth Rocks again, just trying to keep them up, he'll go in the Infernape, I feel. I'm gonna try to switch in right here. He stayed in. God damn it. He stayed in because he either U-turned or he's actually gonna go for the high jump kick here. Oh, low kick. Eh. So it would have been nice if I actually went for the... But now this means I can go for the U-turn myself. And what's he gonna send in? Most likely the guard jump, actually. To which I actually do need to actually go for the Brave Bird. I'm gonna go for Brave Bird. He's gonna go into guard jump, but at least I need, I need that thing weakened because this the re the reason I can't even get anything going in my favor is because this guard jump's here. Let's just hope it doesn't take this way too well. Okay, that does good damage. Unfortunately, this all just takes me out though. But now, nothing on his team is going to appreciate a freaking. I need to get rid of his aromatis and slow king, cause from there I think um. Guardwork can clean up kind of. Kind of, I need to get rid of the scissor too, honestly. It's because everything on his team is just threatening, man. But we get good damage on that thing, which is good. Should I send him to Marshadow? I'll send him Marshadow. I'll send in Marshadow. I think Drain Punch should KO from here. We're gonna go for Drain Punch right here. Actually, you know what? That was a bad idea in and of itself, actually. Because... What if he sends in Slow King? If we can prevent him from getting the Rocks up, that'd be nice. But yeah, seeing how he had low kick on that Sarina really says that I should have probably ran light metal on the Registeel. But I was thinking that maybe he'll try to lower my stats with something, but I honestly couldn't think of what. So maybe light metal ability was the play for, um, or was the required preparation for Registeel against Quilliams. He's thinking about this one. He's thinking of whether or not he should actually preserve this, but he doesn't really have a lot of switch-ins. Nothing is going to appreciate this. Nothing is going to actually appreciate a Spectral Thief since he didn't bring Mill Tank. He's going to stay in and just let this thing go down. Alright, we got rid of the Guard Champ at least. Rough Skin, annoyingly enough. And Rocky Helmet. I was hoping that the HP would recover after I'd taken all that, but nah. So as a result, Life Orb and that and, and all that good stuff. Okay, but now this is the problem. Now he brings in that damn Aromatis. Either that or Scizor if he's trying to bandit bullet punch me right now. The Infernape I now know that it's not gonna... It's not gonna be Sash because it's Scarf. Well, it's actually Bandit because that close combat did way too much damage. Like, it actually did too much damage. None of my mons can um, just switch into it. Something goes down for sure. Actually, since the Guard Chump is gone, maybe, just maybe, I don't need the. the. Um, the, the Gardevoir. Like, maybe for Sarina, but if Sarina's a Soul Vest, then it's probably pointless. I could sack that, since Scissor's still around, and it doesn't really do much to Aromatis, giving it its good special defense. And Sloking, like, a lot of these things wall uh, Gardevoir on the special side, with the exception of Infernape and, and Sarina if it's not a Soul Vest. But Scizor, Aromatis, and Sloking all pretty much wall the heck out of, of Gardevoir. The only thing it's really good for is to be having the Trick Room up, but 
Infernape is really the only mon that's faster than on my team, on his team. And even then, it's not guaranteed to, you know. The question is, should I save more Shadow? Or should I just go for the damage and get the poison jab off? Hmm. Good question. I don't know. Hmm. This is a tough one. I could switch in my Lodic just to get my own HP back because I think his Slow King is also kind of weakened. I don't have rocks on the field though, which would be nice to get up right now. I'm gonna try to send in my Lodic here because I need this thing healthy too, honestly. Hopefully he doesn't have Thunderbolt on this thing. I don't even know if a Romantis gets Thunderbolt though. Okay, just goes for the Moonblast. Does quite an amount, surprisingly enough. But I'm just gonna go for the Recover. Just to get as much HP. Just to keep this thing healthy. And make sure it doesn't just go down to a freaking... Um, close combat from Infernape. Okay, he's gonna switch out into... Becky Lynch. All right, I forgot that this thing still exists, honestly. Okay. At least my Melodic's healthy now. But now here's the problem. He could just go for the Trap Kick here. Or the Low Kick if he predicts my... My Registeel. But you know what? I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do anyway. I'm gonna just send it in. If he U-turns, he'll take Rocky Element damage. If he low kicks me, Rocky Element damage. And I don't think it'll be in range to two-hit KO me yet. He'll just knock off my Rocky Element. Okay, I did not, not expect Rock knock off. But he's going to take off more um, Rocky Element damage here, which is good. Knock off, low kick, Shrop kick most likely. If he has Synthesis, we could have a problem. But we're going to try to get our rocks up here. Yeah, we're going to try to get our rocks up here. He's gonna low kick me, because now he can. It doesn't KO me, thankfully. He could drop kick me right here. Predicting a switch or something. If I get rid of this, if I get rid of this right now, because he could also go for truck kick predicting me, or he could just go for another low kick predicting me to switch into, um, predicting me to stay in, or he can go for truck kick predicting me to go into the Mars Shadow. It's because I want to predict him to go for low kick, but he might not go for it, and instead he could actually reveal synthesis here, which is something I don't want. So maybe, just maybe. I'll go for the Ice Punch. Yeah, I'll just let this thing go down. Oh, he just goes for knockoff. That's fine. Okay. Just get some more nice damage on this thing. Or, you know, have one of those fancy berries that lets you live longer. It's a Figgy Berry, though, so I want to believe that I could still probably take it out. Okay. That's annoying. I kind of was not expecting that. I kind of thought this thing would be a soul fest, but it's not. Now he actually is guaranteed to go for knockoff 100% of the time though, so I don't want anything on my team knocked off. Oh my god, bro. He got rid of the, 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 the rocks. 
I'm gonna go for rocks in case he reveals um, synthesis, but like, damn. Maybe I should have gone for the rocks. I didn't think he'd actually get rid of them. But he did. Damn. So none of us have rocks. Yeah, nothing takes drop kick either, honestly. This was the only thing that did. Okay. So obviously what I'm going to do here now is just send in this. And once again, something is not going to appreciate it. Only problem now is that his, his scissor is now the big problem here. Drain Punch, Life Orb boosted? I feel like it should actually KO from here. But he may not go for it. He might switch into Slow King. What is... Sorry, uh, I have to look it up, honestly. What are your stats, Arena? Freaking sorry now. And this is just from a random set. I'm, I'm not even, I don't even know what set it is offensively. Offensive utility, 50. Pulse combat does KO. Let's change it to drain punch. Drain punch, drain punch. Okay, drain punch. Its physical defense is 98. So it actually could live. Oh, poison jab. I don't want to mess around with this thing. He's gonna switch it out, in fact, so... Did he actually predict my poison jab? Really? Really? He actually predicted my poison jab. That is actually annoying. That is super annoying, actually. Had I gone for Drain Punch, could've gotten damage on this. But now, he put himself in a good position. Nothing on my team resists the U-turn anymore. Well, this does, but the, the Technician Boosted Bullet Punch is not something to be trifled with. And if this thing is banded too, then, yeah. We're not looking too hot here. He could U-turn, and then go into Infernape, and then Close Combat, and get rid of my Melodic. Oh well. Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do, though, nonetheless. We're gonna go into Milotic, cause, yeah, I don't, I don't wanna mess around with the Scissor. I think I need, I need Marshadow until I get rid of that Slow King. Yeah, I need Marshadow until I get rid of that Slow King. And the Infernape, cause the Infernape is actually faster than a lot of my team. Actually, yeah, he went for Bullet Punch. Damn, man. And it did a lot. So maybe, just maybe this thing is actually banded? I'm honestly not quite sure though. I could put myself healthy? Yeah, because that bullet punch did a lot actually. It's probably banded actually. He could switch into Aromatis perhaps. I could Scald here too. But he can also just bring in that damn Sloking too. Which I've yet to get that damn Toxic on. I'm gonna try to send in Mudsail. This might seem radical, but... Yeah, he switched out. Okay, good. Becky Lynch was this. Oh my god, I was hoping that it wouldn't be this. Damn it. I was hoping it wouldn't be this. Yeah, this is bad. Yeah, this is really bad. Because now he gets a free trap kick. We're going to sack Gardevoir. Yeah, because we don't need Gardevoir. I should... Oh man, I should have just stayed in and went for the skull, honestly. Could have at least guaranteed the burn... Or not guaranteed, but it could have gotten me a chance to burn this thing. Yeah, because now this thing is guaranteed. Okay, the attack doesn't matter, honestly. Okay. We're just going to get additional damage on the... On the... 
We're just gonna get additional damage on the scissor, honestly. Yeah, we're just gonna get additional damage on the scissor. Every bit of chip damage can help. Because Moonblast, while resisted, is still stabbing. And that scissor is banded. It's probably not an HP invested or anything like that. Or maybe it is, but not on the split death side. If it is on the split death side, then yeah, we could have problems. If his scissor is banded, then Marshadow is definitely not safe. But I honestly only need Marshadow for the Infernape. Or unless I can take out Infernape with Mudsdale, then I won't need Marshadow anymore. And I would only need my Lodic. But I actually also need the the Mudsteel to Toxic, the Aromatis, and the Slow King. Because those two things are walls and they're just going to waste my time, honestly. Okay, there goes um, there goes Scizor. We're just going to Moonblast this thing, honestly. Yeah, get that nice damage. He could bullet punch here or he could U-turn. Either way, if I switch out, he'll just get a free switch into... Hmm. He has Rapid Spin, Knock Off, Trop Kick, and Low Kick. Okay, so he was not Assault Vest, but he had full attacks on his Serena. He could predict me to go back into my Lodic and U-turn and then bring back the Sarina. He can do that as well. Or he can just take out my Gardevoir and prevent me from switching it back in. Man. Yeah, Marshadow can still handle the Slow King and the Aromatis. That's another reason why I needed it, because if, if I can't handle it with these things... I'm gonna need to put it in range for... My Lodic, what does my Lodic do? In the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really do much. It doesn't do anything against Slow King. It only takes out the Infernape, which I think I can do with Mudsteel anyway, so I think I will send in my Lodic nonetheless. And I think this is what we're gonna sack. Because Gardevoir can still hit things really hard on this team. Okay, he U-turns. And this is banded, so... He'll go back into Sarina. And I can definitely take a drop kick here. Unless he wants to just go into Infernape and just um, finish me off already. He could do that. Actually, now that I think about it, my Lodic was kind of good for walling Scizor. But I just need a Cripple Scissor just in, just enough to put it in range for a Shadow Sneak from Marsh Shadow. And then once that thing is gone, I don't have to worry about everything else. Well, maybe Infernape, actually. Yeah. Okay. Now here, he'll definitely go for Trop Kick. So I definitely don't want to let that happen, obviously. So we're just going to go for... Unless he doubles, actually. He could double, actually. But if he U-turns again, I'll just get switch initiative. So I'll just go for the Gardevoir switch anyway. I know I can take one more. One more drop kick, that is. If he switches in Slow King though, then that's kind of where he kind of makes a good play. Yeah. He he has a lead, honestly. But unless he sends in Slow King or Aromatis, I actually can't play around this Scissor Infernape Sarina combination. It's way too offensive, actually. He's thinking real hard what he wants to do. If he wants to go for Trop Kick or just double on me with Scizor. He could double back, predicting me to go back in the Gardevoir, knowing that I can live another Trop Kick. 
However, what I'm hoping here actually is that he doesn't think I have the um, max speed investment on Gardevoir. Oh, what the? What the? I didn't send in. What the? <laughs> I didn't send in anything. I was like, what the hell? I'm all like here waiting for him to make a move and he actually didn't. Okay, he goes for knockoff. That does nothing, but that's fine. Let's see. Now here, I'm hoping he switches out, thinking I can just finish him off with another Moonblast here. So I'm just going to go for Moonblast. Will he fall for it? Will he switch out and go into either Scizor or Slowking? If he goes into Slowking or Scizor, that's good for us. But if he goes into Scizor or... No, if he goes into Scizor, that's good for us. If he goes into Slowking, it's bad for us. Because what I want to do with Scizor is just weaken it enough to put it in range of a Shadow Snake from Marshadow to take it out. That way, Marshadow doesn't have to worry about, you know... Okay, he didn't he didn't buy it. He just he just stayed in and drop kicked again. Okay, so this is obviously kinda bad. Maybe good at the same time because Well the only problem now is that I don't have anything for this um this Sarina anymore. I think now unfortunately I have to go for the I think now I do actually have to go for the, the Drain Punch though. Even if he brings in Aroma Tease or Slowking, because right now I'm kind of weakened to the point where I think the, what's it called, can actually take me out. But I'm going to go for Drain Punch now. It may not take out the Serena, which is particularly what I'm afraid of, but I got no choice now. I actually have to go for it just to get this Serena off my chest, honestly. Yeah, because right now this Serena is really like harassing the entirety of my team. The worst thing is that he can choose to... Yeah, he's gonna switch out. But into what? Stank. Man. I mean, that did fine damage, but... I don't think it's enough to make up for the life orb damage. I have 124. 107. Okay, I got a little bit of HP out of that. The problem now is if he actually ends up... Um, switching out again... And this time into Scizor. Like, if that's... It's because, man, that's the thing. The Moonblast will KO, actually. This Drain Punch did a lot, but how much will a Poison Jab do to an Aromatisse? Hold on. This also depends on the set too, honestly. Aromatisse. 50. Let me put Poison Jab on this thing. It's a guaranteed 2 hit KO. It looks like it has at least 188 HP. Of which Poison Jab is still, yeah. It's got a lot of HP still left on its belt. I'm gonna go into Mudsdale. Hopefully he doesn't double into Sarina, because if he does, then we're just kind of busted, honestly. Okay, he went for Moonblast. That still did a lot, honestly. Which is annoying. And unfortunately, it's looking like we're not gonna we're gonna get finished off by the Infernape, because. We didn't get enough damage on the Infernape to actually be able to get, um... In fact, I don't think we got any damage on the Infernape whatsoever. And right now I'm about to get Withered down. So I'm just gonna go for the Heavy Slam here. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Heavy Slam. What's he gonna go into? Sarina again? If I can take out this Sarina with this Heavy Slam, that'd be nice. Unfortunately, we do not. Shameful. Which means... Which means this thing has to take damage. Yeah, this thing has to... Yeah. Hmm... 
But he would have to go for close combat, honestly. If we get rid of the Sarina at least, what would he bring in afterwards? Only Slow King, honestly, no? Yeah, it would definitely be Slow King, honestly. Do I want to go for Earthquake now? I'm gonna just go for heavy slam. Does quite an amount despite the attack falls, but my stamina goes up. Get rid of Sarina at least, but I think that's it. either Scizor or Infernip is gonna finish me off actually. Yeah, either Scizor or Infernip is gonna finish me off. This was a rough matchup. Okay. So what we can do with this though... Well actually... Hmm. Actually we can't. No we can't. I'm afraid of him just switching in that freaking... Infernape here. And you know what? No, he's definitely a soul vest. No, he's not. He's not freaking. He's not. Um. He's not sh Shadow Sneakberry. Or is he? And even then, do I go for the damage or do I go for the? I could just go for the damage. Just in case this thing does turn out to randomly be the... The case of Berry for Marsh Shadow. And this thing was actually max special defensive all this time. I'll just Earthquake. I'll just Earthquake. Grass not okay. Can I live one? Yes, I can. Okay. Got the damage off. Unfortunately, this thing goes down though, so... The one that I don't think takes it very well is the Milotic though. So yeah. Do I switch out? No, it's because he goes for Grass Knot. He got Psychic now predicting me to switch in, predicting another. Wait, what? Oh yeah, wait, I had a, I had Toxic on this Assault Vested Mudsdale? Bruh, am I an idiot? Wow, bruh. Dude, I'm a man of low IQ. Why did I have Toxic on Assault Vested Mudsdale? Is this a new strat, bro? Oh my god, dude. That is bad. Like, really bad. Okay, I'm just gonna go for Earthquake then. Why are you doing this, bro? You crit. You crit, bro. Why, why would you crit? Now I... Oh my god, this could be bad, actually. I mean, I get rid of the Slow King, sure, but... Now what am I gonna do for the... For the scissor, or the aromatase for that matter. The switch in definitely is scissor though. Now I really wish I had fire punch or more shadow, but the thing is that this thing is banded anyway, so. Yeah. A 
Okay. See, so this thing didn't even take any damage. So honestly, the only thing we can see is um, what move he locks himself into. And if this thing has Grass Knot 2, then pff, we're, we, we just simply got out prepped, honestly. I mean, I already did a terrible job prepping given I put Toxic on an Assault Vest Mudsteel, bro. I don't know what went in my mind. Maybe I was thinking Leftovers initially, and then I was thinking, oh, last second Assault Vest, and then I forgot to change Toxic to something else. I don't know. But I was thinking all this time that I could get away with toxic and freaking <laughs> something on his team with an Assault Vest. Maybe if he knocked off my Assault Vest with um, Sarina, then I could have probably Toxic, but alas, that didn't happen, so. What move is he going to lock himself into now? That's the question. If he went for close combat, then that's just a missed opportunity, honestly. But Earthquake here. In case he goes for Substitute or some shit. Although with that future that future side in, intact though, like with another turn, I think my March Shadow goes down after this as well. So it's really just going to come down to if I can actually outwall the... Okay, he's going to U-turn. He's going to give me Switch Initiative. But there is one problem though. Yeah, there is one problem. The Scizor is faster than my Milotic. So, if he sends in Scizor right here, he'll just U-turn again. And I think he bullet punches for free and just cleans up. Yeah, he wins. He wins. Yeah, he wins. Damn. Yeah, he bullet punches with Scizor, actually. Yeah, he has to send in Scissor, actually. So we are gonna lose this, actually. Yeah, the freaking... Man. Can I KO this thing with a Life Orb? I don't think so, honestly. Scissor. Let's just say it's banded. 50. Let's see. Shadow Sneak. With Life Orb? Nah, it doesn't KO. It's not even close, honestly. Yeah, because it's like under 50. It's like 48% or some shit like that. Yeah, it's like 48%. Somewhere around there. 80. Shadow Sneak. Shadow Snake, yeah, it does. Guaranteed to a KO. Does at most 70, so it's it's not gonna take it out. I'd have to get the max roll even if it was like lesser than that. Okay, um. Hmm. Because he outspeeds my Milotic if he's actually the speedy type. With max speed. Actually, oh, Milotic. Actually, you know what? I don't got time. Oh. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Because he just simply has to bullet punch, honestly. Let me see how well Marshadow takes the bullet punch from this thing. How much HP do I got? I got 107. 107, 64. Yeah, bullet punch is a... Well, actually... Hold on a second. Hold on. What's my set on this thing? Hold on. What's my set on this Marshadow? I don't remember. It's... Okay. It's a... It's a there's a chance it kills me. There's a chance it doesn't. If I live it, I have to go straight for the Drain Punch. Hmm. I have to go for Drain Punch. There's a chance I can survive this. A higher chance to survive it than not. If he goes for Bullet Punch here. Although, I don't know. Yeah, we'll just go for it. Yeah, because, I, I, I mean, if I don't live, I just lose, basically. Have the roll in my favor, please. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we narrowly survive that. We get our HP back and we don't just lose our Marshadow like that. I think we still lose because the 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 
The Infernape didn't take any damage whatsoever. And I lose it to the uh, future side anyway, so... Yeah. There was nothing I could do, honestly. Yeah. Oh well, at least we lost 2 rather than 3 or anything like that, so... Uh, we do lose once again, which means we're still in the freaking negatives, bro. That is annoying. But at least we were able to kill the scissor, at least. Because fuck scissor. Alright, Aromatis, Infernape. Those two things are not going to go down with my Lodic. And this thing simply just needs to close combat, honestly. So, yeah. Let's just go for whatever move. Close combat and blah, blah, blah. We lose. And that's going to be the whole game. Given how there was 8 minutes left on the timer though, tells me that I could have probably timer stalled, but honestly, um, I don't think that would have been ideal anyway. Like, I think I would have still lost because he still had more mons on his team than I did, honestly, so. He probably still would have won if I tried timer stalling. Not that I would, honestly, it's just that, honestly, like, in situations like these, I probably would, if I think it's convenient, but, eh, nah, I don't think it would have mattered. It's 8 minutes, do I really want to do that? Nah, no, nah, honestly, nah. Uh... We'll save it just in case I need a thumbnail or some shit. But yeah, GG Quilliams. Thank you for the battle. I lost to him yet again. It's because I can never play around freaking Quilliams. This guy thinks way too much. Thinks just about as much as I do, I think. So, yeah. And on top of that, <laughs> I had some terrible preparations on my end. Because, seriously, bro. A Soul Vested Toxic King Mudsdale, bro. That just... That's just a no-go, honestly. But oh well, what are you going to do? So that's going to be the whole game for week 4 of the NGDL. We unfortunately lose again, so now we're 2-2, two and two, which is annoying. And it's even worse because we're still in the negatives. I think we're at negative 4 now. Or, no, negative 3, actually, because we won last week. We were negative 2 before winning our third week. We're now, uh, we went down 2, so, yeah, we're, we're negative 3 now. So we're basically just a little over what we had when we took our first loss so yeah but what are we gonna do uh either way we're gonna stay tuned for next week i'll catch you guys for the next battle uh for now just take it easy and have a good one